Trouble is brewing for TikTok. The Biden administration is warning the social media platform could be banned in the U.S. if its Chinese parent company doesn't sell its stake in the U.S. app. Well, the warning comes as the White House voices increasing security concerns over user data. ABC News' Elizabeth Schulze joining us now from the White House, along with senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky to discuss. Well, Elizabeth, this all comes on the heels of a ban already set in place on government phones. The U.K. just announced today that they're banning the app on all U.K. government uh, devices. So what ev evidence is the White House pointing to that shows that TikTok is clearly a security risk? Hey, Kara, right. So there are three big concerns that the White House and other government officials, including the FBI, point to when it comes to the security concerns around TikTok. And they all center around the fact that TikTok is owned by a Chinese company. So first, the question is, could the Chinese government try to ask for data about American users? And because of laws in China, would TikTok be forced to hand over user data to the Chinese government? That's one concern. Second, could the Chinese government use the app to spread misinformation? Could it actually influence influence what users see to uh, share misinformation or affect political views. And then there's this question of once the Chinese government has possible access to this data, could it then continue to track users, potentially use that for spying? Now, of course, TikTok denies that it does any of this. It says, show us the evidence. And you asked about the evidence. We so far have heard of a lot more warnings versus evidence at this point. But these are genuine concerns, at least according to the officials that are here. Well, uh, Elizabeth, I don't know what I'd, I'd do without TikTok. I don't, uh, just to be clear, I don't uh, post anything on TikTok, but the, the music, the cooking, the sports, the old movies, you, know, you can, you can the find... The cute little kids. Uh, yeah, I guess, I'm, I'm not following that, but, you know, you can find interests that are fun, and, in fact, it's just had this gangbuster growth because it is so much fun. What are the demands? What does the White House want TikTok to do? Uh, and, and if they don't, how would you enforce a ban? How would they just remove it from my phone? Well, you know, 100 million active users of TikTok, Terry, you are one of millions of others who love using this app. And, and that's something the Biden administration is aware of. They've been working with TikTok for more than two years now to try to come to some sort of an agreement that would alleviate some of these concerns over data security. But what we've seen is this kind of hardening of that stance now that there is more of a possibility of this forced sale that would, uh, that would essentially take an agreement off the table uh, because of the escalating concerns that have been heightened just in recent days. Hmm. All right, so Aaron, according to cybersecurity company uh, Farut, TikTok has your data even if you've never used the app. So what were the takeaways for you from this report and is the concern from the Biden administration warranted here? This report makes clear, Kira, that whether you've used TikTok or not, whether you have it on your phone or not, whether you've deleted the app or not, TikTok still knows what you're doing online because it's able to sprinkle throughout the internet what are called pixels. These are, are tracking devices sprinkled like fairy dust across all sorts of websites that have nothing to do with TikTok. You want to go searching on Weight Watchers? You want to go to the University of Arizona? You want to look at the United Methodist Church online? Every time you do that, you've barely hit enter or, uh, or clicked on the, on the website and TikTok's pixels are already at work tracking what you're doing, even before you've consented to accepting cookies or otherwise given consent. And so even if TikTok is banned or, or if a sale is forced, uh, in some ways this report makes clear from, from the cybersecurity company Ferrut that, that it may not actually matter. Mm. Uh, it's, it's pretty ominous. So, Aaron, what, what has TikTok responded uh, about all this to this report in particular from Fruit claiming that they're collecting data on people both willingly and w unwillingly? TikTok hasn't responded just yet that we know of, but they've been making this point to the Biden administration that a sale would not necessarily curtail the, the data collection. And, and they're not the only ones that do this, Terry. Uh, Meta, behind Facebook, Google, Microsoft, all of these big companies are siphoning up Americans' data this way. Most of the time, it's just used for, for advertising or to, to give you what you want to see, you know, video-wise or whatever on your TikTok account, Terry. But the, the concern, of course, the administration has is that some of this data is being shipped off to places where the U.S. doesn't want it, places like China or Russia. Uh, I know you guys have TikTok accounts, too, right? Right? Or am I alone here at ABC? Oh, anyway? did you say no, alone, Aaron? Terry. 
You're, you're alone, right. Terry. <laughs> no TikTok Harry does for you. Viewer. <laughs> Pass, same, same, basically. I'm not going to post anything. Nobody's interested in what I would post. But thanks very much, Aaron and Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.